project was at um, Happy Charities, and um, I we helped with the we helped people organize clothes. My job was to go in the attic with a group of with a group of five people, and we took all the bags of clothes. And we had to take it downstairs, so we had to go up and down the stairs, yeah. like five hundred thousand times. Each bag weighed Each about two tons. Weighed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, we took care of that, and I thought we'd never finish. But like the emotions on the people's faces when they saw us working helped me go through it more faster and more easily going than just me doing it. Very so good. we took care of that, and then we had time to. Organize the Christmas stuff. We had time to organize the Halloween stuff. We organized everything, and we helped the girls downstairs. So. Fantastic, fantastic. Like, Jonathan, right? Yes. Jonathan, ladies and germs. Peace. <laughs> it's getting close. I went to Fifteen Place, yeah. and I also saw the woman in the orange tank top. It was really funny when we left. Was um, it really? Was it really bright? It was a bright orange tank top, and the minute we left um, Fifteen Place. Everyone was just like, oh my gosh, did you see the woman in the orange tank And I was working with Aaron. I was the other smiling face at, <laughs> at the front desk. And um, the thing that really struck me were the, the people who worked with Aaron. Um, the woman, Lynn, who I think is like the part of it, she like created the whole idea of the place. Um, the way that she spoke about the, um, the project in general, she had so much passion and love for these people. And um, I like I really saw Christ in her, and it was really cool. I mean, it's one thing to visit for a couple hours, but it, to meet <laughs> someone that does it every day, yeah. it's amazing. And it's like she's this is like her job. She pours her life into this. Very and, cool. Yeah. It's cool. Rock cool. cool. on. It's her job. All right, here we are. We got no, who are you? Rodney. Rodney. This is Rodney from Miami. Uh, no. I have to Spring guess Hill. that since everybody Spring seems to be. Ah, Spring Hill, the nice part of Florida. Florida. All right, very good. All right, so Rodney uh, went to uh, where'd you go? The cemetery, right? The cemetery. Wrap it all up. Tell us what it was like. At first, when, when our group were last, I didn't want to go to the cemetery because I'm not very fond of cemeteries. <laughs> a lot but, of people are kind of spooked out by them, actually. <laughs> but when we went there, and the dude was telling us the story about how there's like a lot of graves that are like buried that we don't even know about. And so at first, while I was working with Matthew and the girls, two girls from our, our troop, our, our, our church, we were just shoveling and like sweeping them. And then I think, I don't know, it was even five or more where we, we found, like, it was like completely, completely sand and clay all over. And me and Matt dug it up. And there was some yeah, were they, old. But they didn't dig up the graves. They're talking yeah. about they, un, they kind of found the tombstones and stuff. And they were able to. <laughs> <laughs> that, that kind of sounded like that. <laughs> we dug it up! We dug it up! I guess what was most impressive to me was there was a gentleman who had very much difficulty uh, speaking, but he opened a book that had little Bible readings in it, and he would mumble a few words to us, and then someone in the background would read to us what was actually in the book. And we thought we were doing something for him, but he was actually reading the scriptures to us, teaching us the story. Uh, it, it was really humbling. What's the one thing uh, that you've seen over the years, in your seven years of doing this, what's the one thing that you find consistent uh, in this particular day uh, here uh, at CYC? Probably this, the fact that the students are touched by the deep appreciation of people they had never met. Uh, even if they're not working directly with people, they know that the work they're doing is going to affect someone uh, who has less than they do. And just the, the fact that they appreciate doing the service. Where'd you go today? Um, I went to uh, that, that was Tr Trinity Garden. Trinity Gardens. Did you do gardening? No, we definitely no. painted the house. You painted the house? It was great. Did you, you scrape or paint? I scraped and painted. Very good. It's like, they painted it my legs. <laughs> Did you go too? You yes. were there? They painted How about my you? Legs yeah. Were you there too? No, I went to uh, <laughs> St. Mary's. St. Mary's? What yeah. is that? 
It's a shelter for um, abused and neglected children. Very good. Very good. Where did you go? I went... Where did I go? Oh, Catholic Social Services. What did you do at Catholic Social Services? Uh, folded and sorted clothing. Folded and sorted clothing. Wow, this table did a lot of work. Yeah, we did. By the way, we have to recognize real men wear pink. Woo! Represent. <laughs> Oh, you're chewing food. Ah! <laughs> Where'd you go today? Oh, you're chewing food. They're chewing. Hey, it's Elizabeth, everybody from Zachary, Louisiana. Where'd you go today? 15 yeah. Place. She went to 15 Place. Where'd you do? I mopped a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. What did you do today? Um, we worked in the... Where'd we work? No, you weren't there. Catholic Social Services. Services. Yeah. And, and you uh, you sorted clothes and stuff? Yeah, we sorted clothes in different areas in the attic. And um, the attic was really hot, though. We sorted Mardi Gras, Christmas, all that stuff. And there were people coming in and out getting clothes that wow. were free and stuff. Very good. Yeah. You notice that you can kind of almost see up my nose? <laughs> Um, I don't remember what the place is called that we went to, but um, I was sorting clothes. Sorting clothes. Catholic Social Services. Yeah. Aha! Thank you. And it was fun. Good. It's like, um, like there was people coming in with a bunch of donated stuff. We just sorted it. We put it on racks. We put them on hangers. And we just saw people walking around. Like, just saw happy faces. Very good. Yeah, I like it. How about you? I also want to... I also went to Catholic Social Services, and um, since the girls were sorting out clothes, they sent us upstairs to the attic to help clean it up. It was uh, they had no air conditioning, so it was very, very un it was uncomfortable, and it was a big, huge mess upstairs. So they needed some kids to help organize it, since it hasn't been organized since last year. And they dumped like this whole pile of bags of uh, warm clothes, and they would not organize anything because they don't need it for the they don't need it in the summer. So. What took us probably three hours would have taken a one person like I don't know a week. A week, at least, at least. You did good work. What'd you do? Um, okay, I went to yeah. Sorry. I went to the cemetery at with Kim and Ben and all those people, and it was really sad because I was cutting the trees and stuff, and then I started walking with the people that were shoveling, and we actually found this. Stone buried under about like two feet upstairs, and it was a 12 year old girl. Yeah. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd I go? Yeah, where'd you do today? Oh, my God. It's like, where'd I go? I got right here. Um, I went to Trinity Gardens and what, painted. You painted. Did you paint or scrape or both? Both. I, I sat on people's shoulders and, paint, and scraped places on the top of the house. <laughs> wow. Put your life in danger. Yes, I did. You got paint in your hair. <laughs> I'm, I'm well aware.